I am an American. On the surface, we seem to be very patriotic people, but there's things in our past that we're not very proud of. Segregation, the Trail of Tears, and a series of crimes against humanity we have committed towards the Vietnamese people. Having a banh mi sandwich! I can't believe I waited until a few years ago to try these. These are delicious! Especially if you make them with pork belly. First things first, preheat the oven to 250 degrees. Do you still believe in communism despite the numerous failed attempts at trying to achieve it? The number you're looking for is 120 degrees Celsius. Now before we take care of the meat, we gotta take care of the veg. Specifically, the pickled daikon and radish toppings. Eight ounces of daikon radish. Uh, uh, quick note, depending on what store you go to, it might be called a Korean radish or eh, something else. They're interchangeable, they're pretty much the same. So don't worry. So grab the daikon radish, top off the end. Peel off the skin. A nice, clean, sharp, brand new knife makes all the difference, let me tell you. All right, once we got a good chunk of the skin peeled off, let's julienne these. And here's how I like to go about it. So cut our radish into centimeter long pieces. And once you do that, dice them nice and fine lengthwise. If these are looking a little too uh, broad, then you might want to slice the pieces down. You want something along the lines of this. All right, then put all of these in a jar. And next, an equal amount of carrots. Again, chop, peel. And julienne. And now for the brining liquid. I have here in this cup, one and a half cups of rice vinegar. Ooh, acidity. Add to a sauce pot. One and a half cups of water. One quarter cup of sugar. And a tablespoon and a half of salt. Bring this to a boil over high heat. Well, this heats up, let me give it a nice taste. Have a little bit more, sweetie. Now this comes down to preference, but you want the brine to be a bit on the sweet side. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, try not to breathe in the vinegar fumes. Jeez, I wonder if this was one of the torture methods John McCain faced when he was in Vietnam. Okay, once it comes up to a boil like this, kill the heat. And pour it on top of our veggies. Make sure you use something heat proof. Okay, make sure the veggies are fully submerged in our brine. And uh, once these cool down a bit, stash them in the fridge and let them pickle overnight. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment you all have been waiting for, an ad break. <sighs> no, 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 no. What got me so triggered like this? Well, if you want to find out, hop on over to my Patreon and sign up. Is that not an option for some reason? That's fine. Just hit the like button and subscribe. Okay, now that the ad break's over, let's get to the real reason you've all been waiting for. The braising liquid for pork. In a bowl, add two cups of Shaoxing cooking wine. This will get rid of any funky flavors our pork might have. One cup of hoisin sauce. A tablespoon and a half of oyster sauce. And about one tablespoon of fried chili garlic sauce or sambal. A teaspoon and a half of Chinese five spice. Vinegar, half a teaspoon of rice vinegar and half a teaspoon of MSG. My lawyers have told me that 
This is an optional ingredient, even though all of the myths about MSD are based on racist beliefs and has been debunked since then. Like I said, optional. Whisk all the ingredients together. All right, let's give it a taste test and see what it needs. You know what, a little bit more hoisin, why not? And now, the real moment you've all been waiting for. Actually, let me go in with a second taste test. It might need a few more things. I think it's gonna jump all 12 and go into the woods. Okay. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Please, 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 no more, no more fake house. I promise, I promise. Uh, look, uh, here's the pork belly, right here. Specifically, three pounds of pork belly. Okay, now before we put it in our pan, one quick note. Okay, one thing I like to do is, well, pay special attention to the grain, see which way it's going, and I'll just uh, slice an arrow. in the direction the grain is going because, trust me, slicing against the grain is the difference between an okay and an excellent banh mi. Okay, next grab an oven-proof braising dish, place our pork inside. And let's also toss in some aromatics. Green onion, ginger, a few smashed cloves of garlic, you don't need to peel them, just smash them, and two star anise pods. Let me do the same with this one. Yeah, I'm going with two standard size baking trays. And while I do have something bigger than this, it's too big, so... Meh. And let's pour our braising liquid until it reaches halfway. Cover these with aluminum foil. Stick our pork belly in the middle of our 250 degree oven. and braise them for four hours. This is the end, beautiful friend. It's been four hours and, uh, oh yeah. Can't wait to dig into that tomorrow. Oh yeah, did I forget to mention? You have to let this rest overnight. So, let me just stick these babies in the fridge. You know what? I want to do one more pork belly facial, just for the hell of it. Oh, yeah. Listen, I know that's not what you want to hear, but trust me, chilling it overnight in the fridge does two things. One, it firms up the meat, making it easier to cut. If not, well, we're making the same mistake Nick Giovanni made. But I just can't help it. I have to spank it. Gentle reminder, this guy was on MasterChef, by the way. And as cooked meat cools, it soaks up all the surrounding liquids. Kind of like a marinade, but on steroids. So overnight in the fridge, please ignore the fact that I'm wearing the same shirt after the time card. All right, it's the next day. Our pork has chilled down, making it easier to cut. Give these a nice half inch thick cuts. Now, some of you might be complaining about how this recipe takes too long. Uh, cue the scrubs clip. Nothing in this world that's worth having comes easy. Nothing in life worth having comes easy. Whether it be a girlfriend, a high paying job, or super delicious banh mi, Nothing in life worth having comes easy. With our pork belly nice and sliced up, let's bring some life back into these by searing them on a hot pan. So, I got a pan right here. Let's set that over high to medium high. All right, once it heats up, let's place our pork belly slices in. Yep, that's right in. Look, it's beginning, it's already beginning to render out some fat. All right, let this go for about a minute. All right, after a minute, Flip these over. And yeah, I know, lots of smoke, lots of smoke. Um, I should have done this under the actual stove, but gotta move so much camera equipment around, it's not worth it. 
All right, after another minute, take these off the heat onto a separate pan. And I'm gonna cover these with aluminum foil while I prepare for the next scene. All right, our pork is, all right, our pork is fried. And now let's get on to the show's co-star, a sandwich loaf. Make sure you get the long sandwich rolls like these. All right, cut up our bread clamshell style. Oh, now let's make some room. Uh, take out some of the inner bread and uh, make room for all of our toppings. Okay, before the pork goes on, let's layer on some sweet chili sauce. Now our pork. Our pickled radish and carrots we made yesterday. Some sliced jalapenos. And finally cilantro, just uh, rip and tear. Rip and tear, my friends, just rip and tear. And voila. Oh wait, that's French, that's super insensitive to the Vietnamese. Um, a. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but I'm definitely ready to deep throat this banh mi. And listen, I know Vietnamese and Americans don't have the best track record together, but you know what? Let's put it behind and work towards one common goal. The complete destruction of those French bastards. They're the real commie scum. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning at this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Friday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and support me on Patreon. Hey, France, you lost to these guys first before we did. Where do you think the French stereotypes come from?